the Coast Guard and the Forces of Barbados played an integral role in the uh, rescue efforts, evacuation efforts in, in Dominica, and also the uh, transportation of supplies to many of the affected areas, and also provided um, security um, uh, support to our police officers in Dominica. I mean, the, the officers from Barbados Coast Guard and the, the, the armed forces here were, were exceptional. And I wanted to personally come here to, to thank them and to express on behalf of the Dominican people uh, our profound uh, gratitude and to say to them that we shall never forget their contribution. And also to express our thanks to the Prime Minister because without his authority, they couldn't have left Barbados and the government of, of Barbados. And of course, the entire Barbadian community, I mean, you have been exceptional in your response and support to us. Um, but I'm here in Barbados and I felt that it, I would not be comfortable in my, my, my mind if I left Barbados uh, without, uh, if I leave Barbados, sorry, without um, coming to, to greet and to thank personally uh, the Coast Guard. And uh, that's my purpose of being here, to thank them on behalf of the Dominican people for the heroic efforts, uh, extraordinary efforts, which they, um, which they made. Uh, for several days. Um, they stayed in for several days after the storm. They asked, matter of fact, they only left uh, last week. So they've been here for several weeks uh, supporting us. And, and their contribution was, um, was greatly needed. Uh, greatly needed and they executed uh, and represent they executed their, their, their duties um, exceptionally well and uh, represented the people of Barbados with distinction. Okay. You were here last night for a big concert. Yeah, I also was there to, to thank the entire Barbadian community for its, uh, uh, for its support, its solidarity. I think what this storm has, has, has really caused to happen is that it has uh, allowed for uh, the manifestation of true unity and integration of the Caribbean. Um, I mean, the entire Caribbean has, has mobilized itself and self-mobilized. Self we didn't have to call them. Um, they all moved from, from Jamaica up in the, in, in the north to Suriname down in the south. Um, they have been exceptional with their support. Um, the ordinary working class people who um, brought in you know, a few cans of, of, of corned beef or uh, some sugar. Um, people who may have had to, uh, to give one of, one, of, one of two of their um, tins of milk. You know, and and the important thing we have to understand and appreciate, and this is why we, we we're so touched by this, is because people have been given a helping hand uh, during our most difficult economic period in the region. Um, every country in the Caribbean is going through very difficult times, and every family is experiencing difficulties, no matter where you are in the Caribbean uh, or the world, for that matter. But there is a true uh, demonstration of generosity. And I think um, that, that speaks well for the future of our region, that we are in fact our brother's keeper. And, uh, and we are in fact one Caribbean. Okay. And of course, you, the media, have been exceptional too, you know, in um, bringing out the information and, and, and informing the, the people of, of what's taking place. We keep hearing though that the pictures and the videos were sent out of Dominica don't tell the story really of what has happened in Dominica. It's essentially exactly what has happened in Well, you, you know, um, you would have to see it because you see, you see the pictures and you see the physical infrastructure. But for us, the most difficult part is the, the human dislocation and, the, and the, the, the pain, the psychological pain and the scars on the minds of the steward, children and of course the senior citizens, uh, people who were in the 80s and 90s are saying that they have never seen that kind of, of uh, flooding or destruction in their entire lifetime. So it has been very painful and of course the loss of lives, you know, uh, the loss of lives uh, because you will never be able to replace um, the disease, you know, we will rebuild the country. We 
we are not daunted by the task, but, but um, certainly it's a long road to go. Uh, but the, the pain for us and for me personally is a lot of lives and the, and the human suffering. Uh, that has been the difficult part. But we started rebuilding the process in the morning after. You know, um, and that is continuing um, and quite a bit of progress has been made thus far.